welcome back and welcome to my snow day clean and keep up with the mess video. So today is a snow day and I am off work. My kids are off of school because of the snow. And so I am gonna be doing my normal cleaning and just keeping up with the house while my kids are here doing their thing. Um, it'll be a little extra tricky because they're gonna be creating some extra messes, having to get out all of the snow gear and then inevitably trekking the snow back inside after playing in it and all of those things. But we are gonna enjoy this snow day. Um, I'm also gonna to toss in like a warm tasty uh winter recipe that we're going to be using for dinner this evening just to really cozy up on this snow day if you are new here, welcome, and thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. Um, so I am a wife and a mom and a homemaker and a full-time pediatric physical therapist. Um, I have two young kids, they are five and seven, and so I wear a lot of different hats. And mostly I just like to create mom content and mom motivation, um, just sharing all of the things that us moms have to do on a day-to-day -day basis, the cleaning, the cooking, the organizing, all of the things that we just have to do. And so if that's the kind of content you like, please subscribe to my channel and let's go enjoy the snow day. So we are gonna start off this snowy morning with some warm, cozy pancakes. Um, this birthday cake flavor of the Kodiak pancakes is one that I recently got on a Target run. Um, I think I shared that in my last video with my Target haul, but we are gonna try these this morning. This is our first time making these, so we'll see how they turn out. Also, I will readily admit I am not the best pancake maker in our house. My husband tends to be the pancake maker on the weekends, so I'm giving it my best effort, but I am not going to claim to be the best pancake maker here. So here's the outcome of the pancakes. They turned out pretty good and were a pretty big hit with the kids. They still prefer dad's pancakes over mine, but that's okay. I'll take the victories where I can get them. So now I am wrapping up the pancakes we had left over in some saran wrap and we typically put them in the freezer. I usually put two or three in a little thing of saran wrap and then um, they get kind of frozen together and it makes it real easy to just heat up in the microwave and for an easy breakfast through the week. So here is the accumulated dishes from pancakes and breakfast and coffee and all of those things. So I'm going to work on cleaning this up real fast. And I was away in the middle of the ocean without a shore. And I was afraid that I'd break into a million tiny bubbles and evaporate to the sky I was a mountain standing with my head above the clouds I felt the rumblings deep beneath the surface I can feel it shaking me loose to my core oh counter is covered in lots of spots and stains right now so I'm gonna do a quick um, clean and wipe up of the counters to get them clean for the day
Next up, I'm going to try to get our beds made. Um, this is my kids' room. They currently share a room. And then my daughter has the trundle that comes out from under her bed uh, for lots of reasons. Um, she tends to roll off her bed and down onto the trundle. Sometimes they both like sleeping down on the trundle. I don't know. Our, their sleep situation's a hot mess and we're working on it. But right now, this is our setup. They have their own beds in the same room. They have the trundle. And it just kind of is what it is. As long as people are getting sleep at this point, that's all we care about. I think I shared this in one of my other videos, but my daughter did have her own room, but both of my kids actually wanted to share a room. Neither ones are big fans of the dark and they liked the idea of being in the same room rather than in their own room. So that is why they are sharing a room. But let me know what your setup is. Do your kids prefer to share a room or do they prefer to have their own room? Now I'm on to our master bedroom. I had some laundry left over from that morning that kind of got piled up there and needed folded and put away. And now I'm just quickly making the bed for the day. The kids are getting really antsy to get outside and go play in the snow. So I'm gonna start to get our clothes ready and get us all ready to get outside to go play. It really does feel like such a marathon getting ready to go play in the snow between the layers of clothes that you have to put on and then all the sweating getting the gloves and the hats and the boots and everything on it does feel like so much work it's totally worth it once we're out there and playing in the snow but sometimes it's just exhausting getting to that point I did put down two towels on the floor so when we come in we can just lay all of our wet boots and clothes and stuff on those towels. We ended up playing in the snow for about an hour total so thankfully it was one of those times all the getting ready was totally worth it and we weren't just outside for like five minutes and then back in. Um, so we had a lot of fun. We have a little bit of a hill in our backyard um, and a small little slope in our front yard. We had fun with our sled and our little scooter sled here. Olivia also had a lot of fun making snow angels. Now I'm just trying to get all of our gloves and hats and everything laid out so that all the snow can melt off of it. And that way if we wanna go back out a little later, our stuff is dry and ready to be used again. towels helped catch a lot of the water in the snow that was dragged in, um, but I did still have a few little puddles that I needed to clean up. Next up, I need to toss um, our dinner into the crock pot. I love warm crock pot meals on cold snowy days. So today I am making what, what we call taco soup. So it's basically like black beans, corn, cream of chicken soup, salsa, chicken, and it's all just tossed into the crock pot and it makes like a soup, um, but it's not the most like liquidy soup. We actually end up putting it over rice and then all, add all kinds of toppings, which is how we like it. If you'd want it like where it's truly, truly a liquidy soup, you'd want to add either like more like chicken broth or um, more cream of chicken soup. Um, but this is how we like it. We like it where it's a little bit thicker and not like a runny soup. And now my kids are gonna help me make a little treat that I was planning to save for Valentine's Day, but we're gonna go ahead and make it now because we're home and we have the time and they want something fun and yummy to make. So um, I know a lot of people make these at Christmas time with the pretzels and the Rolos and the M&Ms, um, but I bought um, the Valentine colored M&Ms, so we're gonna do it with that. So it's gonna be pink and red and white, and we actually used like the pretzels that are not square, but are like the normal shape. Um, and they actually almost look like hearts a little bit. So with the chocolate melted and everything. So it actually turned out really cute. And we ended up having a lot of fun making these. Time's always been hidden to me, scaring me half to death. I fell asleep at 17 and woke up 30. So I let me down, unfulfilling expectations, wishing I could be complete.
by this point in the day, it is late afternoon. Uh, the kids are off doing a little bit of like their quiet time um, and their screen time. Um, so now here is kind of what's left of our main living space after all of this morning's indoor play and activities and all of those kinds of things. So um, I am gonna quickly straighten this up while they are occupied and that way we have some space to play again later this evening. Wear those freckles, your badge of on. Go barefoot, you know you wanna. Darling, take a load off. You don't gotta show off. You can let your hair down, set it free. Give yourself a chance to breathe. Take a load off. You've been going non stop. Ain't nobody else you need to be. Let's go wild, you and me. Cancel all the plans in your schedule. There's no other you need to be. Windows down, music up, let the wind kiss your cheek. Leave the tangles for tomorrow. Let it go, you know you wanna. Darling, take a I decided I wanted to vacuum between crumbs from snacks all morning and like little pieces of paper from little crafts and things like that. There just seemed to be so much stuff on the floor. So I went ahead and did a quick vacuum. While I was on my little cleaning streak here, I decided to go ahead and vacuum up the kitchen as well because we had lots of crumbs from our treats that we'd finished making. Alright, it is finally dinner time and here's a look at the taco soup. Again, you can see how we make it thicker. So it's not a true soup consistency, but then we love to top ours with cheese and avocado, sour cream, cilantro, just pretty much the works. And it's just absolutely delicious and warm and cozy on a cold day. Thank you so much for joining me on this snow day and I will catch you guys in the next video.